Feel good, yeah. We had an off day yesterday, so that was nice to rest up a little bit and get healthy. Um, the whole team, so uh, that was nice and excited to get back after it today and, and get ready for tomorrow. Are you are you excited about the prospect of tomorrow? Or are you anxious to get it over with? Or how do you kind of approach this mentally? I think I'm excited. Um, you know, it's going to be a very special night. Uh, I got a lot of family coming, so that that'll be a lot of fun. But. I think my main focus is just honestly going out there and having having a blast with my teammates and enjoying it. Um, obviously, we need to come out and perform really well. I think to, today's practice is really important, but I think for me, like, I'm not anxious about it really at all. I'm I'm just very excited. Um, it's going to be a special night. Um, you know, honestly, we haven't really talked a lot about it as a team or me and Coach Bluter. Like, we never really talked about the record and what's going to happen. It's just go out there and play basketball and have fun, and this is kind of what comes along with it. You may, you maybe you saw last week that uh, Kelsey Plum did an interview where she talked about when she was on that chase to the scoring record, it was like one of the low moments in her life that you know she let her mm -hmm. identity be, be yeah. uh, born out in that. And mm -hmm. That's not the vibe that I get from you, but yeah. I mean, ha has it at least been a struggle or has it been one of the lower points or would you say you haven't felt that at all? I haven't really felt that at all. And, you know, obviously I get what Kelsey's getting at. And I think, you know, I have so much respect for her and, you know, she's reached out and been very supportive through all of this. and. I think that's so cool to have somebody that I grew up idolizing support me so much and, um, you know, want to see young women's basketball players be really great. Um, I think that's really cool. And, um, yeah, I think just for me it's just, like, the excitement. Um, you know, no matter what record I have broke or not broke, like, that's never something that I'm focused on or wanting to do or accomplish. And, obviously, I understand the magnitude of this, but um, I think it's just kind of come along with how my four years have gone and um, it's crazy looking back at how fast everything's gone but um, I'm just really thankful and grateful and um, I would say the low point was honestly just losing at Nebraska uh, other than that there's not never really been a low point so I think it was a good learning opportunity for our group and um, today we need to be really good and then going into tomorrow it's a good opportunity for us to rebound in front of a really great crowd. How Kaylin, you've talked. Could you ever imagine that all of this would happen? <laughs> you know, I'm somebody that has really big dreams, goals, and aspirations, but I think to like put it on this level and like this magnitude, like that would be crazy for me to say. So I would say no. But obviously, you know, I dreamed of doing really big things, playing in front of big crowds, you know, going to the Final Four. Maybe not quite on this level. Uh, I think that's really hard to dream, and you know, obviously, you can always exceed expectations, even your own. And I think that's been one of the coolest parts. What's it like being Caitlin Clark right now? You might be the most popular figure in the United States. What's that like? Honestly, like, I just go about my business as I did when I was a freshman uh, during COVID. Like, sure, my life's kind of changed somewhat, but, like, I still live the exact same way. I still, you know, act like a 22-year-old college kid. Um, you know, I just try to have fun and enjoy every single day. Um, I know I say that a lot, but that's really what I try to do. And um, I never want to get caught up in the moment or this and that. And... I think you know I have a really great support system around me, whether it's my coaches, whether it's my teammates, whether it's my family who is really close. That's one of the main reasons I came here is to be able to have them around a lot. So being able to rely on them um, has been really important for me throughout my career. Kaylin, Are you able to unplug and just you know do you just throw your phone <laughs> on the sofa or something? How are you able to just get away from all yeah, this? Yeah, I think. It's nice, like obviously basketball consumes a lot of my time, especially when we're in season, but um, you know, like I said, I'm still a college kid. Like I still clean my apartment, do my laundry. A lot of times I call my mom up to come do it for me, but other than that, play video games, hang out with my friends, uh, do some schoolwork here and there. Um, yeah, but I, I think definitely getting off my phone and just like living in the moment and enjoying that has been really important for myself. Um, you know, just soaking in every single second. Like, it's crazy. We only have five regular season basketball games left. So um, just trying to enjoy that, honestly. But, yeah, I think the, the best way to, like, debrief and get away from everything is getting off your phone, getting off social media, and just, you know, enjoying what's around you and the people around you and the moments that are happening. Caitlin, you, you've talked about you're not focusing on the square record, you know, game in and game out. But was there a point, you know, maybe over the off season that you realized that you were, you know, on track to, to do this? Oh, gosh, I don't even know. Uh, I feel like there might have been some mentions of it after last season, like uh, it could happen depending on how, you know, her season goes. And obviously as we've gotten closer, it's become more and more of a reality. But 
it was never something I'm chasing. That's never why I'm scoring the ball at the rate I am or shooting the ball as many times as I am. Uh, I think it's just kind of what the team needs. Um, and, you know, my main goal is always to go out there and help us win. And obviously at 22-3, and three, we've done that quite a bit this year. And um, that's my main focus. And, and in my eyes, there's two games still on, that we lost that we could have won if we executed properly. So I think that's been the most fun part of it all is, like, this season's been, like, a, cha a really fun challenge for me. And the last three years, it's been very set in stone, like, what we do, the players that have been in the game. And, you know, this year it's been – you know, myself taking a, a step forward in my leadership and bringing younger people along or people that don't have that experience. But um, yeah, I think at the beginning of the year, it was like, ah, oh, maybe this is possible. But as we've kind of approached it, it was more so like when it's gonna happen instead of if. And um, you know, this isn't why you play basketball. I think it's just kind of come with how I've been able to perform over my four years. And um, I'm very fortunate and obviously Coach Bluter has really allowed me to be me. And that's something I'm really thankful for too. You said that you had got a lot of family coming. How hard was it to get tickets? <laughs> I doubt to tell a lot of people no, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like we all know, the ticket prices are insane. And luckily I have like my tickets that I, we obviously get for free. And then my family has quite a few season tickets as well. And um, a lot of friends already have season tickets themselves. So um, I'll know quite a few people in the building. Luckily, Coach Jay was able to get my high school coach some tickets. So this is her first game that she's going to be able to see this season. Um, Obviously, she's busy with coaching uh, back in Des Moines, so it's not always an opportunity for her to come over and watch me play. And this honestly just worked out, um, and the stars kind of all aligned, so I know that will be special for her to be in attendance, and both my brothers will be here. Uh, my younger brother must be skipping uh, <laughs> classes at college at Creighton, so I'm sure he appreciated the free pass. But um, no, I'm excited. It's, it's always nice to be able to play in front of so many uh, family and friends. And like I said, that's one of the reasons I came here is to be surrounded by those people because they mean so much to me and they've always been, you know, kind of my foundation and everything that I've done. Um, and yeah, I think it's just, it's very important and very special for myself. Honestly, do you ever take a peek at the at the video board and see how many points you've got? Uh, honestly, not really. And I think Carver's a little bit different than a lot of the places that we play. A lot, of, a lot of the places we play, like they don't even have like points and that, that type of stuff up. Usually it's just a team score. Um, so I don't really honestly look that much. I mean, sometimes you glance up there and just see it, but um, you kind of know how you're playing just from the feel of the game, uh, whether that's good or bad. And it, and honestly, like the amount of points you score doesn't really determine whether you're playing good or bad. I want to be able to do a lot of different things for my team. You know, if I even if I don't shoot the ball well, like I can still play well and perform well. And I think that goes like that's the same for my teammates too. Like your point total is never the indicator of how you play. It's you know, how hard do you work? How good of a teammate are you? Um, you know, plus minus is always something Coach Bluter is really big on. Maybe you don't even score a point, but your plus minus is the best on the team. That just shows how much you're affecting the game when you're in. Um, so I think those are all really important things to look at as well. Do you remember? They told you, uh, sorry, <laughs> they told you when you break the record, did they stop the game? Did they recognize you? Do you know anything about that? I don't know, honestly. I hope they don't stop the game, though. <laughs> Do you remember? Like, we can't be wasting timeouts on that. Come on, out. <laughs> Going back to one of your games when you have your little miniature autograph session standing.